Hello everybody, welcome to the next adventure. Uh, we're at the same lake as last time, but I have brought my young fella with me. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to do it overnight, uh, the two of us here, and we've got the whole thing to ourselves pretty much. And we've got a uh, nice dinner to cook, and yeah, should be really good. It's fine now. But the forecast tonight is meant to, meant to be rain, so we should get a bit of a rainy sleep tonight, wake up in the morning as well with some rain, so that'll be nice. And it's officially winter now, we're at the 5th of June, yeah 5th of June I think it is, so officially winter. So we've got plenty of rugs and uh, sleeping bags and stuff like that. Right, we're going to get set up and I'll come back to you once we're all set up.
a my blanket. Yes. I'm gonna test it out. Um, I might need cool. to go in first. Oh, fucking! Look on the top. Right, we're all set up now, and yeah, nice afternoon. It's temperatures dropping a little bit, so a good thing we bought plenty of jackets and jerseys and things like that but we're getting a little bit peckish and it's not quite dinner time so I think we'll bust out some two-minute noodles get those get those cooking Cohen's just reading his book you right bud APG uh, gas cooker. Really cool. Like this. Afternoon snack, some two minute noodles, some ramen noodles. Oh. Cohen's got the chicken ones, I've got gin ramen. Whoa. Don't fall over. Might be easier oh. if you actually hold it like that. I love this type. Yeah, well, that's good. Chicken Might noodles. Might be a bit hot, so just be careful. Yeah, we're going to sit and relax and enjoy the cool afternoon. Taste cool. these. It's hot? hot? Yeah. Yeah, well, you might just want to leave it there to cool down a bit. Mm. <coughs> oh. It's a little bit spicy. Right, now that we've set up the camp, and we're just uh, relaxing. We'll come back to you when what? when we're uh, going to cook some dinner. Cool. Alright, we're ready to uh, cook some dinner. Now we're having uh, cheeseburgers. We're going to do a couple of double cheeseburgers. One for me, one for Cohen. Uh, we had some two minute noodles not long ago, so we're not uh, super duper hungry. Um, so what we've got today is we have brioche buns. Don't call yourself a burger connoisseur if you don't use brioche or potato rolls um, because anything else is not right. Uh, and then we've got, again, We've got plastic cheese or American cheese. I don't like eating it at all normally, uh, but on burgers it's the only thing to have. It just works. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got the pot, uh, the pan heating up. We're going to toast our buns first. You need to toast your buns, make them golden, heat them up, soften them up. Won't take too long with a hot pan. And with the the patties, what I'm going to do is I've just got mince, balled them up, probably not going to focus, but I've balled them up into about, into a part of my hand, but bigger than a golf ball, which is about 80 to 90 uh, grams per, per thing. Um, 
and we're not going to do anything. All we're going to we're not going to add onions or anything like that to the mix. All we're going to do is add salt and pepper. Trust me, it works. That's about right. Toasted, steaming. Uh, now I'm going to grab my patty ball and smash it. a non-stick pan it is going to stick a little bit to the um, spatula that is so this one I usually do this on a flat top grill so it's a little bit um, you want it to stick to the grill, put it that way. Get a loop, flatten them out. And then we salt and pepper it. Don't be shy. Now we want it to stick. We want it to get caramelised, so it all it's called the Maillard reaction, but it goes nice and bright, like a deep brown colour, and that's where the flavour is. We won't really get that on this because it's um, it's a non-stick pan, and but we'll get we'll get some flavour there. And if you're worried about it getting dry, it won't. Um, the flavour just takes over with the caramelisation, so it's it's uh, so good. Now not as uh, not as flat or as squished as I'd like because it's hard to squish with the rim on the pan which is why I use a flat top grill but we'll make it work should be about right start to see it going that those few spots there going that deep brown you want that all over but I'm a bit limited as to what I can do with this setup here but it'll still be tasty you've got to butter your buns too butter or even just some cheap margarine does the same thing but you've got to butter it to get the goldenness out of the um, out of the buns so when those are just about done I'm going to pop the cheese straight onto the patty It'll start to melt. As I say, plastic cheese or that, you know, the processed cheese, uh, to eat it just cold like it is, it's, oh, I think it's nasty. It's, but with burgers, man, it just works so well. Right, when it starts to go like that, that's about right. And a one there, one there. Just turn it down a bit. Come on, you want sauce? Uh, it's what pie. Um, tomato, and you want a little bit of mustard? A little bit of mustard. Yeah. Just tomato? And you want some pickles too? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Yummy pickles? Yeah. Guess what? I finished this caveman book. You finished the book? Oh, I gave him the book only about an hour and a half ago. He's finished already. Alright. Some pickles on there. Where is... Where's the other book? Um, it's Ooh, up I'm there, ready. but we're having dinner soon. I'm ready. I there we go. Back. Look at that. I'm hoping it's going to focus. There we go. Juicy. 
You're going so to love good. it when you even see it. Yep. So, here we go, bud. Sit down. Mm-hmm. All right, give it a smash. Smash it. Eat it. Oh, might be hot. Mmm. <laughs> Good? Nice. All right, daddy's turn now. You can have some. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make my own. Right, let's do this again. I'm pushing the middle to get the center of the buns um, a little bit toasty in there as well. I think that gas is running out. <laughs> Typical. Check the other gas bottle in. Now we're cooking. Right. Beautiful. Nice golden. I'm gonna probably smash these out a little bit. I shouldn't really do this, but. Can't really get them thin otherwise. I've got lots of people saw me doing this. <laughs> right. Let's get that happening. It's mine anyway, so it's all good. Yeah. And the bacterial white. Right, salt pepper. How was that, Simon? Good. I told my wife that I was making burgers tonight. She was a little bit jealous. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> Over he doesn't get that from me. <laughs> Have a lot up. Pickles. Here we go. What a focus. Look at that. Beauty. That's a smash burger. Let's go down and uh, sit down and enjoy it and enjoy the, the change of light, the magic hour as they call it, and have a burger.
Oh, right. Sitting down for a cup of tea. Going to bed. And what's the time now? 7.30. So that's. Oh, I think I'll just relax, read a book, and enjoy my cup of tea. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for coming along. <clears throat> it got down to about 6 degrees, but then it's, it's getting warmer now. It's at about 8. My little thermometer here. It's about 8 degrees, and it's meant to start raining about midnight. Um, so I'm guessing it's starting to warm up because of that. I tend to get, tend to get uh, a little bit warmer when it starts raining. night. I'm going to draw my cup of tea and then I'll come back to you before bed. Radio, so it's now about 10 o'clock at night uh, and it's getting pretty chilly. I think it's down to about 6 degrees centigrade. So I'm going to head off to bed and warm up, and we will see you all in the morning. Cohen's asleep, pretty sure. He's gone quiet. So I'm going to make check all the guy lines and um, all the pegs and everything just to make sure everything's good and then yeah we'll get off to bed so we'll, uh, we'll catch you in the morning <laughs> Got a coffee. Yeah, it's time to get some breakfast, I think. Mm. Right, we're ready to start cooking some pancakes. You hungry, Colin? I'm starving. He's starving. Right. You want banana with your pancakes? Slice up banana and maple syrup? No? Okay. Please, please. Yep. A little bit of rain happening now, as you can probably hear on the top. Dad, we have made the soap of water. Hey? Boy, you're made the soap of water. <laughs>
banana. Give this a shake. Oh! oh. <laughs> Is it just add water? Yep, well, I'll put water in there. Now you've got to shake it for two minutes. Oh, I need it. Keep going. I'll tell you where to stop. Okay. Um, we usually get the cheap maple syrup, but we ended up um, there was nothing of the of the cheap one left, so we got the legit actual maple syrup. But as you can see there, if we focus, it's not actually uh, it's not actually focusing, but it's about a third empty, um, and this was a new bottle, so it's obviously leaked out, which is a. Doesn't help when you drop it as well. So it must have leaked out in the. There you can stop now. How's it going to explode like a glass though? It probably will. Hope not. I mean, hope do. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Um, right, I'm going to check this. Uh oh. We know from past history that it does explode when you release the. Lid. So we're just going to go. Slowly. Got more gas than Cohen in the morning. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we might need to um Take it? No? No, we just need to put a bit more okay. yeah, a bit more water in there. Oh, oh boy, here we go. And then I have to shake it more. Yeah, do you want me to shake it? Yep. Ready? Sure. Look, watch this camera. It hurts. It's probably slow. Yeah. Woo! Hey. Probably still a little thick. It's really raining out there now. Good consistency, All right? Let's fire up the stove. I'll shake it. Okay, you check it. You check, see if it's a good consistency. Mm. It's like a good thickness. You see if it's sort of sloppy and goopy when you when you shake it up. Can you feel it? Yeah. yeah that means it's a good consistency. It's a good thickness. <laughs> All right. Get this going on. Ready for your big pancake? 
<laughs> He's so angry. steaming pancake. Right, you want your uh, you want banana on top? Yes. Bit of banana? Yep. Uh, just on the side. On the side? Okay. Oh, that's good. Maple syrup. All over? Maple syrup, banana, pancakes. Mm -hmm. right, my turn now. Eating his hair because of his long hair. <clears throat> I think I need to lower that far corner behind the truck a little bit to let the rain uh, drip off. I think we're getting a couple of little tiny little puddles here. That's right. I'm not going to attempt the, the flip this time, <laughs> not like the last one. We get a little bit more practice in first. <laughs> Camping with kids, eh? Never a dull moment. And the finished product. I'm not going to be able to eat all this. The pancake has gone to like an inch thick. It is massive. That's not even the whole. It's not even the whole bottle. Right, let's enjoy this. Oh, I need to wash my hands. Right, we're going to sit down and enjoy this.
This is the only place with dry ground over here, I think. Oh, Cohen, how was, how was your sleep? How was your night? <laughs> uh, well, I guess. Oh, fine. You said you slept fine. I guess so. Yeah. Change your plans, you Dad. Guess, you guess so. Okay. Change your plans, Dad. Well, there wasn't any wind last night. So it was not like our last trip. Remember our last trip? Mm, you, that was you probably uh, saw it. Yeah, you guys yeah. probably saw it, like stormy is, um, the wind was horrendous, the rain was, I didn't actually check the, oh well, I checked the forecast, and it said there was rain with a bit of wind, but wasn't expecting that, but it was blowing sideways, so our set up here would just, the rain would just be coming straight in everywhere, um, so it's, um, yeah, it was a little bit uncomfortable, I didn't get much sleep at all. But I don't, it's hard to tell, I never really sleep well at camping, while we're camping, but I guess I slept alright I think, last night. I was warm enough and it was comfortable, it was more comfortable than sleeping in the truck, that's, that's for sure. But, hmm. I'll finish this and I'll come back to you after, after breakfast, yeah. We've had a nice relaxing morning, uh, and the rain has sort of calmed down a little bit, oh it's just starting up again now, but we're going to start to pack up, we've had a good breakfast, and um, had some chill out time, just enjoying the, the scenery and things, so we're going to start packing things up and make our way back home, obviously when we get home we've got to dry everything out, so there's a bit of time at home that the camera doesn't see. Um, but yeah, let's get, let's start to get packed up I think, and then we can head on out. Cohen's knocking at the window for something, what is he? <laughs> He's found a lollipop. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. That'll keep him quiet for a little while. Just so peaceful out here, and when it's raining, it's just so nice just to be under the tarp, Listening to the raindrops. I'm just looking out at the lake, it's so nice.
All right, that is us. We're all packed up and leave no traces, obviously. Picked up all our rubbish, um, all our belongings, and nothing left. Fortunately, the, the rain kind of just eased off to uh, while we're packing up, so that was good. Didn't get too wet. Anyway, uh, let's go dump our little rubbish bag at the at the uh, the bin provided, and then we will head off. Okay, so that is us. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications so when the new video drops, uh, you'll get notified. But thanks for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one. One thing I do have to sort out for next time is some different shoes because sneakers and wet grass, as you can see, just completely saturated. And it's not good having wet feet for prolonged amounts of time. It just, just feels stink. So I'm going to have to get that uh, some waterproofing or get some different shoes.